Hey guys, it's Joel from guntoter.org. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, before we get started today, if you could head down in the corner, hit like, hit subscribe, turn on those notifications. And if you could visit our Patreon page and support us monetarily, I would appreciate that greatly. Um, I buy all this gear, no one sends this stuff to me for free. And I do that so that you uh, have the confidence that you are getting an unbiased review and you're not worried about me being sponsored and just you know, advocating for something because they paid me for it. So if you could support us, that would be great. And let's move on to the actual meat of this video. So a lot of you guys have uh, ballistic plates, right? And obviously you have them for your own protection. You probably paid pretty good money for those plates, right? So like for a set, thousand bucks maybe, I mean, depending on the set. Um, and a lot of people are surprised that ceramic plates are not not as durable as, as they seem to be. Um, they are actually very durable, but there are some very specific things that can happen to them that can degrade them, like uh, cracks from getting dropped or getting slammed into something and so on. So uh, if you're like me and you like to actually proof your gear and your setup and stuff by either, um, like for me, I play airsoft with my kids. I also do a PT in my kit sometimes to just kind of see if I still have my range of movement, uh, if it restricts any, uh, any of my movements like climbing a ladder or doing pull-ups or push-ups or whatever I need to do. So for instances like that where I don't want to worry about damaging my real ballistic plates, I have a set of training plates. And, uh, and there's a couple companies that make training plates. Um, but the company that I advocate is a company named Warrior Trail. Um, so what I have here is a set of their eSappy and their ESB plates. Um, one of the reasons I advocate for Warrior Trail over some of the other companies, because there's some pretty well-known names that do make training plates, uh, one of them being Team Wendy. Uh, Rogue Fitness makes uh, like weight plates. They're not really training plates, they're more just weight plates for working out. Um, but one of the reasons I advocate Warrior Trail over some of the other ones is that Warrior Trail is really designed to be training plates. Like they're not designed to just be a workout plate that only fit in one specific carrier uh, or they're not one size fits all like the Team Wendy's, uh, which are basically small eSappy plates. And that's the only size they have, which is great if you wear a small, but if you wear anything other than that, um, they kind of shift inside the plate carrier and it's, it's annoying. Um, Warrior Trail, on the other hand, actually has eSappy sizes. So for example, this is a medium uh, size front plate. Um, you can buy them single, you can buy them double, and the weight and the size is actually pretty spot on accurate. Uh, so for example, I wear a Ferro Concepts slick, Slickster and uh, I wear a medium and this thing fits in there. It's like a glove. It's, it's a perfect fit. And then I've added some uh, side plate carriers and I use these. And uh, you know, I'll go hiking in it. Like I said, I'll do PT. And, and like I said, I'll even uh, go play airsoft with my kids in it because uh, our airsoft field that I play at uh, is a very, it's set up as kind of a, a mount village as well as out, uh, you know, you got trees and everything else. So you get a lot of running up and down stairs and, and I've seen a few guys dive through windows, going through doors. So you can actually get a real feel for, you know, how does your gear affect your movements, especially the, the short, quick burst movements that you might have to do in like a, a mount area. Um, like I said, there's, these actually come in sizes. So you can get small, medium and large. Um, and like they're very accurate. You can buy them single, you can buy them as a pair. Honestly, I would recommend just buying them as a pair for a set of mediums. A pair runs you 150 bucks. I believe for a set of large, it runs you $170. So they're not cheap, but they are a lot cheaper than breaking your ceramic plates. Um, for the sides, these are ESBs. These only come in one size. And this is important because these are six by eight plates. These are not six by six. It's not listed on their site, but these are six by eights. So if you have side plate pouches, they have to be capable of carrying a six by eight to make these work. Um, if you have six by six and you want uh, to run those, uh, I believe HESCO also makes some training plates as well and they do make six by sixes. So you could look at those. The, they're a little more expensive than the Warrior Trail, um, but not significantly so. So that is another option. But like I said, I've been using these for several years. I like them. 
you know, they're obviously marked as training because I've got a hole through them. Uh, and then they're marked again on the back, non-ballistic training use only. Um, it's just a, a neat piece of kit for you to help kind of proof uh, your gear setup as well as you do some physical fitness without possibly damaging your plates. So put the link down below. Uh, they do kind of come in, in and out of stock. Uh, they do short runs of them. They sell them and then they, then they go back to another production run. And of course, right now, uh, everything tactical is, is back ordered. So uh, you may need to reach out to them. Last time I checked, these were definitely uh, in stock, um, but I believe that the plates were out of stock as of today, which is the 25th of November. So keep an eye out for them if this is something you're interested in. And uh, hope this video was useful for you. Uh, if it was, like I said before, down in the corner, like, subscribe, notifications, all that fun stuff. Please visit our Patreon page uh, and support what we do here. If you think that you are getting value out of this, our Patreon subscription is only $5 a month. Um, you know, you'll hardly notice, but trust me on my end when I'm buying gear uh, to review, I really notice. Uh, and you know, if you can't support us monetarily, uh, shares, uh, recommendations, all useful to us, right? It's like social media currency, especially with the way things are going now and with all the weird algorithms and, and kind of some of the suppression of the firearms and gear related pages. So thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you again next time.